Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Thanks so much for joining me. Well, I'm excited to share with you two cards. We're featuring the Simon Says Stamp August 2024 card kit. It's called Graceful Flowers. It has some beautiful blooms in here. And we're going to be using the die set primarily for our card today. This is the beautiful Buttercup die set. I love these florals because they're layerable and they're like the perfect size. For my greeting, I'm going to be using the Graceful Flowers stamp set. And then for my card base, in the kit this month, there was a black A2 card base that's pre-scored. All you have to do is fold it in half. I had already took our watercolor card stock and what I did is quartered it. So now we have four A2 panels. I'm going to die cut out. We're going to die cut out eight sets. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And when I'm all done, I'll be right back. My die cutting is all done. And you can see four will fit perfectly on an A2 panel. And I did two sets of fours. So we have lots of flowers. We're going to actually use our card kit box for to do our spraying with our Distress Spritz. Let's start by taking our large flowers. I placed all of the large flowers in my box and now we're going to be using our Distress Spritz. These came with the kit. I'm going to give them a good shake and I'm going to set aside my peacock feathers and we're going to focus on picked raspberry and fossilized amber. We're going to start with picked raspberry and we're just going to add, I'm going to spray in the corner and we're just going to add some color. The more, the more times you spray it, the darker the colors become. I'm going to bring in my fossilized amber and we're going to add some color with fossilized amber. Wonderful. Now I'm going to let these dry and then we're going to work on our smaller flowers next. For my next batch of flowers, which are the smaller ones, this is the first layer of the flowers. So I'm going to take my fossilized amber and I'm going to go ahead and spray these. Okay, and then we picked raspberry and we're just going to spray them really good. Get some nice strong bold colors. And then I, using this spray, I'm going to spray this just once. And then I'll use my fossilized amber here and just spray once over here on this. And we're going to go ahead and let these dry. So our flower petals are all done. Now we're going to work on our stems with our peacock feathers. I'm going to mix this up really good. And we're going to give these stems a nice coat of peacock feathers. While our spritz is still wet, I'm going to go in with my fossilized amber. And we'll let these dry. Now all of our floral images are all done. And you know what? The, the stress spritz dries super fast too. And we're going to build our flowers. To do the smaller flower, we'll add one of our foam squares. These came in the kit also, which is really nice. And then we'll add our first layer. We'll go ahead and add a little more glue behind our stem here. We'll just tack this down. And how pretty is this? And I am finishing up with all of my blooms. We are good to go. We're going to put all of these off to the side. And then what we're going to do is work on our background. So for my background, I trimmed down a piece of our watercolor cardstock. This measures five inches wide. We're going to make a landscape style card today. So this is five inches wide by three and three quarter inches tall. What we're going to do is bring in my craft mat here. I'm going to be using my Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. And I want a dramatic look for my card today. So I'm going to bring in my blending tool. We're going to add intense black ink on the bottom and then we're going to kind of fade up with it. Okay. I wanted to incorporate just a little bit of black on my background. And watercolor cardstock, believe it or not, ink blends beautifully. We're only going to go about a third up. And I'm, I'm ink blending on the texture side also. 
wonderful. Now just to bring this all together, I'm going to add a little more ink to my craft mat. And then I'm going to use my Distress Sprayer, add a little water to it. I'm going to use my paintbrush. We'll mix this and I'm going to do a little splattering in our background also. Okay, we're going to set this aside to dry and then we're going to stamp our greeting. We're going to stamp two greetings. I'm going to stamp thinking of you and also sending love and hugs. And I'm stamping on the reverse side of the watercolor cardstock because I just want the same color. We'll go ahead and stamp thinking of you. Using my our Simon Says Stamp microfiber cloth that came in our kit this month. I love these. These are fabulous and they don't show the ink, which is really nice. And we'll also add and we'll stamp sending love and hugs. We're going to go ahead and die cut out our greeting. The dies that coordinate are not part of the kit, but I love that that there's they can die cut out the greeting, not just the images, the greetings too. So we're just going to line these up. Okay, I'm going to use my very very low tack tape, and then I will run these through my die cutting machine. My greetings are all die cut out. Now I'm going to take my background panel. It's nice and dry. I'm going to use my we're going to use the ribbon that came in our kit this month. And you know what the nice thing about this ribbon? I'm keeping it white, but you don't have to. Your Distress Spritz, you can actually tint your ribbon that came in the kit this month. So try tinting your ribbon if you, if you prefer picked raspberry or fossilized amber. You could do that. I didn't want to distract from my flowers, so I'm just going to keep my ribbon white. We're going to wrap it around the base of my card. And we'll tie a bow off to the left here. This ribbon is very, it's probably one of my favorite ribbons. I love this type of ribbon because it holds its shape really well and it's very lightweight and it's very thin. So this will actually flatten. Okay, so we have our ribbon towards the bottom. We're going to go ahead and add our flowers next. Now I like a lot of dimension, so I'm going to go ahead and take some more foam tape. We're going to put it at the back of our flower, just one at the base, and then I'm going to use my craft tacky glue and we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of glue down the stem. And I'm going to fill in this bottom area with our buttercups. We're just going to basically fill in this entire area, kind of alternating buttercups. I'm not going to, I'm not going to cut off my stems. I think I'm going to keep them the length of my card base. I am going to lengthen this stem here. And to do that, I'm just going to take one of my my extra flowers. I'm going to trim a piece of the stem off. I'm going to add a little bit of glue behind it. And then I'm going to tuck it underneath just so it looks like it's continuous. Okay, let's go ahead and add our greeting. We'll put this in the upper right corner. Since we're going to make another card, I need another card base. I'm going to use this on a white card base. I'm just going to flip it over. I'm going to add some glue behind here. We're going to tack this down. And then all the stems that are overhanging now, I'm going to use my scissors and we're just going to trim those away. To keep this card subtle, I'm bringing in my Simon Says Stamp Assorted Moonshine sequins. First, what I like to do is place some of our sequins, kind of tucking them behind the flowers. Okay, I think that's the right amount. 
and that will finish off my first card. Now for my next card, we're basically going to do the same thing, but instead of horizontal, we'll do vertical. This is the leftover piece of cardstock. I'm going to trim this down to two and three quarter inches by four inches. I'm going to bring in my craft mat and we're going to do a little bit of ink blending on the very bottom. I'm not going to bring in my ink pad. I'm just going to use the ink that's left over. Okay, now instead of using my paintbrush and adding paint splatter to this, we're going to add this to our spray box here. And then I'm going to use some of our fossilized amber. It's a real pretty gold color. And I'm going to spray this background a couple of times. It actually dries really fast. But it looks that fossilized amber creates a real pretty gold look to it. I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to use my Simon Says Stamp foam tape. And we will pop this up for a little extra dimension. And then I'll remove the release paper. I love how easy the release paper removes from this foam tape. We're going to place this in the center of our card. Okay, now we're going to add our flowers. We're going to create a bouquet of flowers off to this side over here. I'm going to go ahead and add some glue behind our flowers. I'm going to use my acrylic block to hold those down, but I am going to pop up my greeting. We're going to go ahead and add our greeting right here at the bottom. I'm going to use our leftover ribbon and I'm going to tie a bow with this. Using my glue, I'll add a dab of glue and then we will add our bow here. And again, this ribbon you can very well color with your Distress Spritz. Since we don't have any black incorporated in our background besides our greeting, what I'm going to do is bring in a black memento marker. And I'm just going to add a few dots to the flower centers. I love doing this, just brings everything together. You'd be amazed at what just a few dots will do. Okay, and then we're going to bring in our assorted moonshine and we're going to add a little bit of sparkle to this card as well. And I am a sequin, I'm a sequin tucker. I like to tuck my sequins, the larger ones, underneath the florals. Okay, I think that's the right amount for this card. And that will finish off that card. So here's look both cards that we made today with the Graceful Flowers card kit from Simon Says Stamp. It's the August 2024 kit. Hope this gives you some ideas on how to use a few of the contents in the kit. Have a wonderful day and thanks so much for stopping by.